Welcome back to the channel. So you've taken your NMAT, you've taken your MCAT, your NEAT, or any other medical school entrance exam that you needed to take in order to apply to medical school. You've submitted your application and they've gotten back to you. They want to schedule an interview. Now interviews are pretty important because this is your school's chance to put a face and a personality to your application. But I'm also not gonna lie, interviews can be pretty scary, pretty intimidating, especially if you haven't prepared beforehand. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about 10 tips to help you prepare and ace your medical school interview. Now most of these tips are only applicable to online interviews, but a lot of them can also be applied to face-to-face -to -face interviews. All right, let's get to the video. Tip number one, be early. This is a simple tip, but an important one. If your interview's at 8 a.m., be there at 7.45. It's that easy. There's an adage that goes, it's better to be 30 minutes early than one minute late. And that is especially true when it comes to interviews. I remember when I was being interviewed for medical school, my interview was 10 a.m. at that time. So I logged in early at like 9.45 and I waited in the waiting room because it was on Zoom. I was in the Zoom waiting room for about 15 minutes, not really thinking much of it. Come to find out, that the doctor that was interviewing me was actually taking note of the time that I logged into the waiting room because he wanted to see how seriously I was taking this interview and he wanted to see if I would be early, if I valued his time and if I was punctual. So in short, the lesson here is be early. Tip number two, dress professionally. So yes, that means dressing professionally from the top to the bottom because for the past two years, all this online school, work from home, online business meetings has given a lot of us the excuse of only dressing nicely from the waist up. But remember, this is an important day. This is your interview for medical school. So make sure you take it seriously. I mean, what happens if the interview asks you to stand up and you're only wearing uh, a nice shirt or a nice top, but you're wearing shorts on the bottom? I mean, not saying that's gonna happen, but you should be prepared. You should dress the part of a doctor. And in this case, business casual is usually okay. So for girls, that might mean a nice blouse and some black slacks. And for guys, maybe a shirt and a tie and black slacks. Because it's better to overdress than it is to underdress, especially for interviews like this. Tip number three, prepare your surroundings. What do I mean by that? You've got to be conscious about what the interviewer will see in your background. You want it to be as tidy and clean as possible. Make your bed if you have to. And also let your family know the day and the time of your interview so that they don't come barging in, they don't start knocking, asking you to eat, they don't start singing karaoke or using the Wi-Fi in the middle of your interview so that things can go smoothly. You also want to take note of the lighting in your room. Is it kind of dark? Then move near a window or turn on a light. You can invest in a ring light, buying one on Shopee or Lazada. Given that many classes are still online, it'll be a great investment for your future. And lastly, I suggest you wear headphones with a microphone on them. That way you can hear and be heard by the interviewer clearly. This next tip I hope is common sense, but in case it isn't, I included it in today's list. It's to be courteous and be kind. At the start of your interview, greet the person who's interviewing you. Say good morning, say good afternoon, and make sure you use their proper title, whether that be ma'am or sir, doctor or dean, and greet them with a warm smile. Tip number five, sit up straight and make eye contact. Now there's actual research that shows that when you sit up straight, you look and you feel more confident, even if you're really nervous. So how do you sit up straight? Your shoulders should be back, your chest should be out, and you should feel like a string is pulling you from the top of your head. You don't want to slouch during your interview. Trust me, these things matter. Now what about eye contact? It's important that if you're doing an online interview that you look into and that you speak into the camera lens. Don't look at the screen. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat that again. It's important that if you're doing an online interview, you look directly into the camera and not at the screen. It'll feel weird at first, but I'm sure you'll get used to it, and this'll make sure that you're making eye contact with the person who's interviewing you. Tip number six is to practice beforehand. 
While it's impossible to know every single question that you'll be asked on your interview, there are many common questions that you can prepare for. For example, tell me about yourself. Why do you want to become a doctor? What are some of your strengths and weaknesses? What are your hobbies? Tell me about a time when you overcame adversity. You should prepare your answers to these questions beforehand so that you're prepared on the day of your interview. You can even have a mock interview where you ask a family member or a close friend to interview you to see how things go. Now it's important to note that even though you've prepared these answers beforehand, that you don't sound so rehearsed on the day of your interview that you come off as robotic or that it doesn't sound natural. The point of practicing beforehand is just so that you have a direction when it comes to answering these questions. I'll include a list of other commonly asked medical school interview questions in the description box below. Now even though you've practiced and prepared, just be ready to be asked the question that you didn't prepare for. I remember when I was interviewed for medical school, I was asked if I was given a million dollars, what would I do with that money at this moment? Now obviously I didn't prepare an answer for that question. but. Just remember that it's okay to stop, to breathe, to relax, and to take about three to five seconds to think about an answer before speaking. If you made it this far into the video, then I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I wanna say thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel and showing the support. I read all of your comments and I just really appreciate all of you. Tip number seven is to know your interviewer. If you have the chance to know who's going to be interviewing you ahead of time, then do your research about them. Find out what their position is at the school. Find out their specialty. Find out if they have any publications. Find out their interests if you can. And you can usually find out this information just by going on the school's website or Googling this person's name or looking at their LinkedIn profile. Tip number eight is similar to tip number seven in that you should do your research about the school. Before the day of your actual interview, you should go on the school's website and learn about the program. What makes that program unique? What can you expect from that program? What are the opportunities available to students? Learning all of this will help you be prepared for the day of your interview. Tip number nine, ask intelligent questions. Nine times out of 10, at the end of your interview, you will be asked, Do you have any questions? You should always have questions. Again, I repeat, you should always have questions. Why? Because this shows that you're interested in the program and that you're taking this opportunity seriously because you've prepared. Now, what does it mean to ask intelligent or smart questions? Don't ask questions that can be easily answered by the school's website. And you should already know this because you should have already studied the school's website and learned about the program. You can ask questions about anything, whether that be scholarships or volunteer organizations or partnerships the school has with other universities, whatever it is that you're genuinely interested in that is not available on the school's website. Tip number 10 is to be yourself. Who you are as a person is enough. Yes, interviews are scary, but that doesn't mean that you have to pretend to be someone else. You don't have to pretend to have all these hobbies and interests that you don't actually have. I mean, you've already submitted your applications. You can't start making things up now. But remember, you've worked hard to get through high school. You've gotten through college or about to finish college. You've studied hard for the NMAT, and now you have this great opportunity in front of you to interview with this medical school. So respect yourself enough to be yourself and to be authentic to who you are but also take the time to prepare beforehand so that you can be the best version of yourself for the day of your interview. If you made it to the end of this video, first, thank you. And here's a bonus tip for you. Show gratitude and appreciation for the person who interviewed you. At the end of your interview, say thank you, thank them for their time and wish them well. And two to three days later, you can also send up a follow-up email to the school, letting them know how grateful you are that you were given the opportunity to interview with their institution. All right, this wraps up this video. If you found this information useful, then leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends who might also be preparing for their medical school interviews. Best of luck to everyone applying to medical school this season, and I'll see you in the next one.